What's up reefers? Today is going to be a really weird one. So for the longest time I have been wondering, is it okay to bring fish and corals onto the plane? I don't really have a definite answer until more recently I started seeing more posting that it's actually okay to bring fish onto the plane. So we're going to give it a try. Today's Sunday, I'm leaving tomorrow uh, around noon time. So this afternoon I swung by uh, Top Shelf Aquatics and I bought a couple things. from Top Shelf Aquatic. Hook me up with a really cool pair of gold stripe neon gobi. Now they're really pale because they've been in this white box for a while now. Um, they're really healthy. They're from OLA Captain Bread and he said that these guys actually ship pretty, uh, pretty nicely, especially since they're so small. They won't release too much ammonia in the water. So these are the perfect little guys to try it out with. I'm also curious about corals. That's why I bought a frag of zoas. I am not actually don't remember what type of zoa it is. And I also got a small bag of their dragon breath red macro algae. It looks gorgeous in the refugium. Uh, so what are these three things? We got fish, we got corals, and then we got plants. And then tomorrow, we're gonna attempt to bring them onto the plane with me as we fly back. Check in with you in the morning. The next morning. Good morning, reefers. Now it's about 8.30 a.m. Checking on the fish. Alive and well. It's uh, actually a really cold day in all It's really windy. I'm hearing a lot of noise right now. But both gobies are doing well. Really rising. Gently put them back in. Double checking the corals are doing doing good. There's the pallies. And the macroalgae is of course also okay. Alright, so now with these guys all in good health and everything secure, we're gonna start heading to the airport and we will see if we can actually bring them in. Alright Reefer, so we have arrived at the Orlando airport. As you can see, it's a really busy day today. So uh, this will be quick. Uh, we have the fish, the corals, and the plants right here. And this is the true test to see whether I can safely bring them through TSA or not. And I think this will be good information for people who are going to Rica Palooza uh, in a few weeks in Orlando as well. So cross the fingers for us. Let's go. Wait, can we check out Disney first before we go in? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fine, let's go. <laughs> Again, this is not commercial. <laughs> Thank you to Disney Store. We actually upgraded bags. So it's easier to carry in the box. Let's do it in there. All right, let's do it. Wait, let's see. So sorry for. All right, just to prove that we are actually doing what we're saying we're doing, right here. Smuggle. All right. <sighs> Okay, so I just talked to this TSA agent. He was caught off by, by surprise. I guess he has not encountered this before. So this will be interesting because I checked with the one in DC and this is totally okay. Cross your fingers, guys. All right, reefers, so we made it through TSA with no issue at all. Uh, the first TA agent that we encountered have not, have not encountered this scenario. So he called somebody who was more senior. And what they ended up doing is basically doing a visual inspection of all the bags to confirm that they're fish, corals, and plants. And they did a swap for, I guess, a chemical for explosives or drugs. And everything comes out okay. And the whole entire process is really pleasant. And they're more curious with the animals than anything. So that's uh, good information um, to know, especially for those of you who are going to reef Palooza really soon. Um, yeah, fish and corals can go through the TSA gate with no issue at all. All right, well, let's bring these guys home. I think we named them Peter Pan. Tinkerbell. Uh, all right, let's go.